skies okay, above Liverpool. But Anfield is ready for the coming together of these two great rugby league nations. It is a true heavyweight fight. The world number one ranking and a four oh! nations trophy. The prize for the winners today. Get used to this. This will be a familiar theme, won't it? New Zealand very often will have to start from very close to their own goal line because of the efficiency of Australia. Yeah, relentless efficiency. That's what oh. it is. And they forced the error. Oh. Late, late call by the referee who on the field said play on. Jordan Rapana thought he'd worked an opening, but belatedly and presumably via a shot from his touch judge. He's given the knock on Australia head and feet. But that's what they do, you know, as they said, great yardage for the forwards. This is the hit. Is it a knock on or does it go backwards? I think the referee's got that right. He's lost the ball in the tackle there, he's lost yeah. control of the ball. And although the New Zealand side tried to play on, that's the correct decision from the officials, and uh, it's a great attacking set so early in the game for the guys in green and gold. So here's Cooper Cronk with a feed okay. eventually. Okay. Cameron Kevin Smith, me. these two, certainly Hail. in Cameron Smith's case, we might be seeing for the last time in England. That's a great cut out ball, and Blake Ferguson, with less than three minutes played, scores in the corner. Australia starting in the manner in which they hope to play the entire 80 minutes on the front foot and in the lead. That's a marvellous try, isn't it? And, uh... Here's the header there, forced by the Australian aggressive defence there. Trent Mennon and Matthew Scott in forcing the header. Then it's three, they split 3-3 three, three to the Australian side, and New Zealand went 4-2 defensively, and that's what created the extra man for Ferguson to cross. What's happened here? Number six, Tohu Harris. The, ins the outside defender is worried about his pace, so the centre goes in, that's the problem. So the centre goes in. And there's a beautiful, beautiful pass by Boyd. He's not going to be rushed. And he has just, just got it over there. We remember him hitting the uh, the frame of the goal in the Four Nations final, uh, the um, grand final a couple of years ago. And he's had one or two close measures since, but that was very close too. Two tackles, New Zealand. Scratching towards that line, Johnson puts a kick in, he kicked it for himself. There was no chase, but Darius Boyd still deems it necessary to put behind for a dropper. 14-8 for Australia when these two met in the group stages of this Labrokes Four Nations. He's here again, Tom Alolo, winding up and off he goes. For the first half of that game, Australia very dominant. They couldn't, they couldn't get over the line too often, could they? And New Zealand very nearly snatched it at the end. It's Blair with a footwork. Smith puts out an arm. And they're making a couple of line breaks now with quick feet at the, at the defensive line, the forwards. Isaac Luke looks left and Bromwich twists and turns and it's just as well for the Kangaroos that there were so many in green and gold. He's given a ball steal there, I believe. So that response has been exemplary. Can they turn that into points here? Okay, stand here, Bromwich Cameron. first man in. Back here, Cooper. Hold. Isaac Go. Luke goes to that right hand side and Johnson again. And into the line comes Kahu. Kenny Dowell is butter fingered. The ball is dropped. That's Australia survived. Yeah, that'd be a huge disappointment. You know, they, they've had you know repeat sets now, and this is just a calamity for them. Pana just stepped off the mark, so the referee ordering to go back and play that ball again. And some great footwork here from Kenny Dowell down the middle, who might feel he's got a point to prove against Australia. That match against Perth was a, a, a disastrous one for him, but look at this. Suddenly, the ball back inside for Kenny Dowell again. They're creating the numbers. Johnson now makes some space, puts it out. Tohu Harris can't pick it up. Instead, it's Valentine Holmes, and Holmes puts the foot down the other way. They're chasing here. Look how many back in black. But Holmes held up, New Zealand blow one chance, Australia work another. What a great passage of play there. More than a half chance for New Zealand, defused by Greg Inglis, and now Sorry. Australia oh. countering immediately. It's a brick wall from Qatar just as well. Desperate tackle there, numbers on the right-hand side. Dugan, Cameron Smith. And down it goes Trent Merritt. Thurston. Cordner, 
Still got a couple of plays to go here, yeah. Australia in very decent position. Merrin again, flicks it away, safe hands from Smith, and it's eventually into Darius Boyd, and Boyd's fat pass finds Josh Dugan. Australia in for a second. You've got to take your hats off to them. They have soaked up so much pressure, and yet they come up with a second try. Now it's an opportunity blown for New Zealand. Unfortunately for Johnson, he had a forward on the outside and couldn't get in support of him. But Darius Boyd's inclusion so far has been absolutely immense. He threw the pass for the first try, and then the second try, he hit the line. This is it. That's the problem. You've got Proctor on the outside. You can't, you can't get up with Johnson. Good defence. This is the counter-attack. And then just watch Darius Boy's inclusion. Number one. There's the offload. He waits. Kronk. Again, it's Harris. The, the number six. The forward makeshift standoff. He was caught short on the, on the defensive side. He's too slow there. He's got on the outside of him. Just watch. There we are, he's got to step in once again, the centre's got to step in, and there's an easy try for the Aussies. Successful from the touchline, just with his first attempt. Wide, 15 metres in, just with his second attempt, but Australia lead by 10 points to nil. Last tackle to come, Kronk gets the ball away, despite the attention of Isaac Luke, and the leap has not provided safety for New Zealand. It's merely another set of six, and Valentine Holmes held up only eight yards away, and then for too long, so a penalty Australia. Yeah, I'd be disappointed there, uh, reeling the kick in there, and uh, interesting that Australia going for the, the two points, but here's the kick. The gains the challenge there, but uh, in all honesty, Rapan has got to reel that in at this level. So, Thurston puts that one over, his um, second out of three, and Australia leading by 12 points to nil. Oh, that was um, clumsy from Isaac Luke. He tried to cover his mistake, but. And again, force, forcing you know, the error, yeah. and w look where they are again. You know, well, it's the field position, isn't it? I mean, possession's about 50-50, but the field position certainly been Australia's favour, and it's been helped by errors like that from Isaac Lowe, just trying to generate a bit of energy, a bit of speed into their carries. When and, you, uh, unfortunately, it's an error. When you look at players like Andrew Johns and Lockyer and Wally Lewis and Brett Kenny, look at the errors made. You know, maybe, as individuals, maybe they were better players than Cronk and Thurston and Cameron Smith. But as a new unit, I, I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen better, you know, in the game of rugby. Well, Qu Queensland's success has been based upon those three, yeah. Yeah. and uh, Australia's success has been as well. And here's Darius Boyd. And Australia pushing hard at this New Zealand line again. Kronk goes left to Scott. Another of the North Queensland connection. Now it's with Smith, and a short pass, and an easy route over for Trent Merrin. New Zealand defenders will look at themselves on the back of that. Merrin crashes over, a third Australia try. Boy, do they want this Four Nations crown. They want the Four Nations crown, they want the number one slot down there of the... Uh, within the Rugby League World Rankings, and they're going to get it uh, on the evidence of the first 25 minutes or so. Seth Menin, often one of the unsung heroes of this uh, Australian pack. There's a lot of grunt, the, the unsung hero stuff, but there, they've isolated him one-on-one. -on -one. The New Zealand defender's looking for the backman play, and it's a beautifully weighted pass from Cameron Smith to Menin, and just allows him to get one-on-one -on -one with the defender and crash over for a good four points, a very, very well-worked four points indeed. Okay. Well, again, he's in no rush, is he? But eventually he kicks it, and um, it's over. So it is 18 points to nil. Australia now lead. Tyson Frizzell is on the field, so expect some impact from him. Smith again at dummy half, Australia again poised. Looking to deliver another of those punches, taken on by Shannon Boyd, the big fella. Real big hey! fella. Chases wild oh, pigs back tackle. home. <laughs> Chasing oh, Kiwis here today. Six tackle coming up now. 
Thurston puts it in the in-goal area, Kenny Dell grounds it, concedes the dropout. <laughs> Marvellous, isn't it? It's, it's just a masterclass of rugby league. It's a masterclass of how to build pressure and get end of sets. Uh, they're just executed to perfection there. That ball's rolled in with perfect weighting and there's nothing at all that Sean Kenny Dowell can do except ground the ball. But unfortunately for the New Zealanders, by grounding the ball, it's another repeat set from Australia in great field position. So he's looking for touch here, Isaac. Look, a little bit of um, a little bit of lift of pressure, but he's not found it. Instead, he's given Australia some fairly cheap yards here. So they start and they get another, oh, it's another penalty given away. Martin Tapao has just been uh, announced as coming on or having come on. Looking down below, Greg Eastwood is about to come on for New Zealand as well. It's Clemmer who's taken Jason Australia Neal. to within 10 Jason metres Neal. again. A real platform from which to work their magic. Now it's Frizzell. The Kiwis hanging on. Frizzell is slow to his feet. Yeah, high shot that one. I think. Again, it's a late call from the referee, isn't it? It was. I don't think he's holding him down there. I just thought he was. Uh, he thought the Fazel was injured. Two points. Yeah, that's a brilliant decision. Look, that's three scores, 18 points. It's three converted tries, 20 points. He's got to score another, you know, oh, another yes. try. So just, you know, just take the two points. Yeah, and it was high. No doubt about that. So here's Thurston looking to add another two. Thurston does add another two, and Australia now lead. Very nearly half an hour play, 20 points to nil. Try or four nations that we've had. Australia have been in the final of all of them, and it looks like they're going to win their uh, their sixth here. This is a, a good run from Dugan, and Kronk carries it on. Thurston's there to take the ball. Johnson stops him in his tracks. Little bit of help from Eastwood, but Australia covering ground rapidly, and here they come again. Kronk now dummies the inside ball. New Zealand are on the ropes. Last tackle, Smith again. Comes right, Thurston. Grubber, superbly flighted, and Josh Dugan might have had the bigger appetite to get there first and get fingertips on that ball. We say might because the referee, Ben Cummings, is going to the video ref. So let's hear for the first time today from Bernard Sutton. Please, mate, from a high shot. You can pause it on the boot. Tackle six, try. Okay. Kick chase on the right hand side is onside. Stay on this, there's no interference. Now, can we go something slow and continuous from ground level, please? Nice and slow here. Nice and slow. You see Josh Dugan's hands coming through. Okay, have a decision. The ball's been grounded. That'll be a try going to the board. Josh Dugan celebrates. He doesn't know the decision yet. Now he does. Australia confirmed as 24 points to nil leaders of this game. The cop, the end into which he kicks here. And he's curled it. Oh, he's, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. It's Australia 24, New Zealand. 24 nil. Let's see what they do. Do they put the ball up to try and force an error? Do they offload? Or do they just run the half down? Does redemption begin here? Or is it only the inevitable conclusion that we can expect? On, Kenny Dow brings it back to the middle. Johnson. A bounce into the hands of Tapin. And um, it was Eastwood who tried to kick. It's played out. It's another set of six, but that's rather irrelevant because as soon as the first tackle is completed, that will be at the end of the first half. Australia leading here by 24 points to nil. Three tackles. Cameron Smith sizing things up. Thurston switches it back for the, the big fella, Greg Inglis. Four, Always a handful, Jason. dealt with. Hold it, back foot, back foot. So here's Go. Smith again, the general in the middle, the accountant as he's known in Australia. Always calculating. Boyd now across that right hand side, creating space for himself as it happens. Oof. Has he dragged himself over the line? Referee will have a word with the touch judge. Video ref's going to be involved. Burning. 
tackle five. Have a try. Try on the field. See how that ball gets. Uh, Is Darius Boyd to the line going to be given this? Place. It's all down to the video referee again, Bernard Sutton. Is this the best angle, mate? So it's on the ground at this point. It's now come off the ground. It's on the ground again. On the ground again. Okay, it's now over the line. Is that the best angle, Ken? Okay, the bottom part of the ball is actually shaded at that point, Ben. Well, the classic was it or was it not? And the uh, on-field decision is what they go with in the end. Darius Boyd is given the try. 28-0, kick to come. Reflection of Australia's preeminence in the sport of rugby league. It's uh, Darius Boyd's 22nd cap here tonight. He's never been on a losing side. Thurston's put that wide. 28-0, it stands. Steamroller stopped. Look, oh, that's an awful pass, but because of interference at the play, the ball. So another penalty here for New Zealand. Gets another go. Six tackles to have a real go, Jesse Bromwich. Now, here's a test of Australia's defensive pedigree because um, a repeat set, a rare repeat for New Zealand on that Australian line. Now it's with Johnson. Johnson gets it away. Proctor with a flip pass. Great happening. Great happening. Great score from Jordan Carhu. And the biggest roar of the afternoon from 40,000 plus inside Anfield. It barely, barely qualifies as anything to cheer about. But it was a very good finish. Yeah, he deserves it as well, Jordan Carhu. I think he's had a good game. And this was some good shape and structure. There's the penalty there. Not square at the marker and played at the uh, at the dummy half. They did a pretty good job though. Those are slipping in the background. A great job there. Hitting the uh, the line. And the other attackers pushing through. It was Keho who came up with the ball and crosses wide out. Good try. Yeah. Kahu has the kicking responsibilities as well. Oh, it's hit the post again. 28-4 it remains. David Kidwell, you know, will be really pleased with the second half response from his team. Tomalolo, wonderful run by him. Jason Tomalolo, a mixture of stepping and size and power. And he gets the penalty. On the fifth tackle as well. Again, very, very clinical. I think, you know, that's a yeah, should be a yellow card, huh? Should be a yellow card. Kronk should be now in the bin. Okay. Clinical, he's just yeah. warned Cameron Smith of four penalties. So Blair, Adam I Blair, sets that. the position. Oh, yeah. right. Isaac Luke, who seems to be yeah. troubled, hobbling a little. Johnson, Kenny Dow, inside Inglis, away from Thurston. Meets his match, does he? In Boyd Cordner, kept alive, and it's still a, a dancing step in Carho! Jordan Carho might just have claimed his second of the game, and the Kiwis' second of the game, but again, we need the analysis to be certain. So again, we go to video referee Bernard Sutton. Now, just hold up this continuous if I can, please, Ken. Just keep this moving, keep this moving. See, there's no defender in contact with Jordan Kahu at this point, so he's entitled to promote the ball. The ball's now off the ground before anyone else joins the tackle. So there's no double movement involved. Keep this moving, keep this moving. Still has possession, still has possession, still has possession. And that appears like it's keep it moving, please, Ken. Keep it moving, mate. Don't freeze it. Don't freeze it. OK, is there another angle on that, please, mate? Now, I just need this continuous, please. Continuous. Okay, can we go back to the front on angle? Is this your best shot, mate? Okay, just keep this going. Keep this going. Yeah, keep it going, keep it going. Not frame by frame, move it forward. And pause it now. Okay, that'll be a try then. It's going to the board. So the Kiwis through Kahu find themselves with just another little foothold. But they are a long, long way down that Everest yet. Kahu with a kick to come. But to put it into context, they have to score three more. And convert all three if Kahu converts this to put Australia under pressure. Here he comes, started it right, stayed right, very straight. 28 points to 10.
But we are seeing some real spirit and fight from the Kiwis in the second half. That wonderful, wonderful Challenge Cup story that Hull FC have penned at this season as well. The million pound has so many reasons to remember this season. But we are belatedly going to be taking our hats off to this Australian side who bring the curtain down in style. Then finish it. Last play. Where does it go? Smith to Thurston. Here comes the run of Cordner, who's bullying his way over the line. Boyd Cordner might just have written the last word on this 2016 season. Never any doubts really from kickoff, but Australia are going to be crowned four nations winners 2016. It's a brilliant angle again from the second rower, but just watch, you know, who it comes off. They're going to hit centre field, they have options on either side, whether the front on the right hand side and first on the left hand side. And then it all depends where Dennis Boyd sees the weakness. He comes in to create, you know, the overlap. But this is the take and the penalty which gave him. A penalty to get good field position. This is the finish. Yes, it was Cronk on the right. Thurston, what a ball, you know, with English on the outside. It's a great finish. Well, it was as if Australia were annoyed that they weren't winning the second half, wasn't it? And uh, all of a sudden they decided to say, hey, we'll level it and hope that uh, Thurston can claim the second half for them. But that was a really well executed play there. Looking to add another two points to his test match tally, and he does. 34 points to eight, Australia lead. So the sixth tackle coming up. Johnson is going to run it. Johnson skipping, drops it back. Great stuff from Caho between the legs. Kenny Dow back on the inside. Olays from the crowd. Eastwood drops it back to Tomalolo. Now it's with Isaac Luke. Luke's pass caught by Kata. He drills it out. It's basketball they're playing at the moment, not rugby league. Kata off the ground. Still another set of six here for New Zealand. They're entertaining to the last. Isaac Luke takes it in. That is the last, though. And for all that flair and enterprise in the last few seconds, it comes to naught in the final reckoning. It is Australia who are elevated back to top spot in World Rugby League. It's official now, we knew it before anyway, but they are world champions, world number one, and the Four Nations winners. Yeah, just too good. You know, they've been so efficient with great leadership and great man uh, game management. Thoroughly deserved number one in the world, number one in this competition, and they'll take some beating in next year's World Cup. They really will, and that first half was an outstanding example of how to play rugby league football. The second half died a bit of a death, but that was a really outstanding first half, and Australia points posted 24 points to zero and deserve it for Nations champions. So Cameron Smith takes hold of the trophy and they have got the whole world back in their hands. World champions, world number one ranking and now a four nations title regained. Awesome.